Professor Mickey, proctors and assessor, members of the Department for Continuing Education, undergraduate and postgraduate award recipients and your friends and family, let me first of all endorse Jonathan's warm welcome to you here tonight in the wonderful setting of the Sheldonian Theatre. I'm really pleased to be presenting these awards, both as Pro Vice-Chancellor for Education in the University and as Chair of the Continuing Education Board. I regard continuing education as a very significant part of the educational work that the University provides and I very much value the regular contact I have with members of the Department, many of whom are here tonight, and whose contributions along with your own participation, enhance the character, the quality and the diversity of our university community. To coin a phrase, the Department for Continuing Education really does reach parts of the world locally and globally that other parts of the university can't reach. And in doing so, it makes clear our abiding commitment to lifelong learning. Now, what I've just said here is very much shared by our Vice-Chancellor, Professor Andrew Hamilton, who's taken a particular interest in the department since he arrived in Oxford um, in 2009. And unfortunately, this um, award ceremony almost invariably um, arrives at a point in the year when he's travelling, which is why he can't be here tonight and I'm representing him. But for us all, the department's annual award ceremony is very, a very important event in the university's calendar. Now, education, of course, is not limited to gaining a degree or an award. It's about the opportunity to learn and to go on learning in different ways over a lifetime. And in Oxford, our Department for Continuing Education leads the way in this. Through the department, the university provides one of the largest centres in the UK for lifelong learning. The department currently attracts over 15,000 enrolments each year. Many of those enrolments and many of those present tonight come from the Oxford region and this strengthens the university's local links, which it very much values. But many who participate in the department's courses also do so from around the world through the online element that many of the department's courses involve, but also through participating in the residential element that is a key requirement of the majority of our award-bearing courses. This participation, along with the department's many internationally oriented professional development programmes, contributes to Oxford University's standing as one of the world's leading global universities. Now this year, awards are going to be given for the first time to successful students from the undergraduate certificate in theology and religious studies and the postgraduate certificate in ecological survey techniques. It's also the first time that graduating students from the postgraduate diploma in wildlife conservation and practice have been able to join the ceremony. In recognising you tonight, we're also recognising the excellent teams that support your study, and many of those directly involved in the organisation and delivery of your courses are going to be joining me in the presentation of the awards to you tonight. And I'm very glad that they are here to do so because it gives me an opportunity to say how much we appreciate their dedication, their imagination and their engagement with your work. But let me also note that the boards of studies and their independent chairs are also a key aspect of the quality control that the university exercises in relation to the awards that you are receiving. And in this regard, I'd like to pay particular tribute to the chairs of the boards of studies, Dr Angus Bowie of the Queen's College and Dr Brian Ward-Perkins of Trinity College, both of whom are here tonight. Um, and both of them are, incidentally, um, former university assessors. So um, the current assessor, who's with us tonight, um, might like to note that there's obviously something in that role that encourages a particular link to continuing education. 
Now, I know that um, many of you here tonight, as Jonathan mentioned, will also have progressed to other courses, some part-time, some full-time, at the department, elsewhere in Oxford, or at other universities. At a time when public funding to education continues to be cut, your endorsement of the continuing value of education across a career and a lifetime makes an important statement about the public good that education does. And in, the, in this regard, let me also say that in the current climate and the current changed funding situation, you will be aware that more than ever today, we need your support in our drive to increase the availability of student bursaries and scholarships and of access. Any help that you feel able to give to the department is greatly appreciated. So your link with Oxford is now firmly established and we hope that it's one that you will wish to continue to develop. Everybody here will know that there are occasions um, when education must, of necessity, be a lonely business. It's you and a book or a PC or your thoughts as you prepare a written assignment or engage with a particular academic challenge. But as the origin of many of our colleges and halls in monastic institutions also illustrates, education is also a communal experience and one that thus invites celebration. So let me offer you my general congratulations on your awards tonight and I now look forward to acknowledging each of you individually as we recognise your achievements in these awards. Thank you.